Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to fix the iTunes installer error. The iTunes installer requires Windows 7 service pack 1. If you are using old version of Windows 7 without service pack, you will get this type of error message. You can check your Windows version by right clicking on computer and click on the properties. You can see here your windows is just windows 7 without service pack. Now I will download the latest iTunes software from Apple website. Here in the Google I will search iTunes download and download the latest iTunes from the apple.com. Click on the download button. Downloading is started. I already downloaded this latest iTunes setup. So I will double click on the setup file. Click run. I will show here the error message in this windows. You can see here the error message. The iTunes installer requests Windows 7 service pack 1 64 bit edition or newer. Because I am using here Windows 7 64 bit without service pack 1. So for installing iTunes in this system, I have to update my Windows or I have to use service pack 1. To fix this problem, there is two methods. One method is using registry configuration, regedit, it. And the second method is using Windows update. You can use offline Windows update from the link given in the video description. That will just update to Windows service pack 1 without any additional updates. So here let us check the first method using regedit. Press Windows key and R together to get the run box. Type regedit and click OK. If you have the user access control enabled, click on the Yes button. Now the registry editor is opened. From here, click on the H key local machine. Then click System. Then go to Control Set 001. Then Control. Then scroll down and find Windows. Click on the Windows folder and you can find here CSD version. That value is already set to 0. Double click on this CSD version. Now you can see the value 0. Change this value to 100 and hexadecimal. Click OK. Now you can see the value changed to 100. Close the registry editor. Restart your computer. Computer restarted. Now let us check the computer properties. You can see here. Now the Windows is Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1. Now without installing any updates, just using some registry settings by changing the value from 0 to 100, the Windows is now working as Service Pack 1. And now you can install iTunes and some other software that requires Windows Service Pack 1. Let us check again the iTunes installer. Open the iTunes setup file that we downloaded before. If there is any security warning, click run. Twelve point seven point two point six zero. That is the latest version now. Click on the next button. Install. Again 
if you have user access control click on the yes button it will ask again the user account control permission click yes Now the iTunes has been successfully installed on your computer and let us check the update again, check for update. This version of iTunes 12.7.2 is the current version, okay that means you have the latest iTunes installed on your windows without updating to service pack 1. Just within 5 minutes you can change the registry settings and install iTunes very easily. Now let us check the second method. In this second method, you can update your Microsoft Windows online or offline. Here I will provide Windows 7 Service Pack 1 offline downloader in the video description. You can watch the video tutorial how to install offline Service Pack 1 package on your Windows 7. And I hope this video is useful for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.